What is up, guys, and welcome back to another episode. My name's The Frenzy Gamer, and welcome back to another episode of Vainglory. As basically today, we're actually going to do a battle royale. Battle royale. This is actually one of four gaming modes that Vainglory offers. Um, basically, to explain battle royale, you basically have 2,000 gold. Um, you're selected a random character, and if you don't like this character, you can change another character of ice. Again, I would recommend just play the character because it's not really worth it. And not to mention, it's it's good for you to play characters you don't know how to play as because you get to actually learn more about them. Again, you won't learn much about the builds, but you'll learn more about like you know how abilities work or so in certain characters, which again is just as important as anything else really in this whole game. Um, as you guys can see, I am playing as. Um, Rango, which actually is the first character I have ever played as, um, because again, I just love ranged shooters. In the tutorial, you actually have three options, I believe, to choose um, to learn how to play as. I believe you play as Rango either either way. I'm not sure how it works, but I play Rango because again, I just love guns. I love characters that like you know are shooters. They're one of my favorite characters because I love ranged characters. They're so much fun. Other also tank characters because I love playing support. <laughs> But basically, you know, this might be my first character, but this is actually the first character I mastered. Actually, I mastered uh, Finn, who is a tank um, character, and he's just a really good character to play as. As right here, I actually take down the crew. Actually, I didn't take down the crew. Rhyme did. I thought I took down the crew, but I didn't. Sad. Um, sadly, I didn't. Did not. Did not. See, I can't fucking talk. But yeah, um, there's also other game modes that you can actually play in Vainglory. One of the game modes you can play as is um, Casual, which is actually the original game of Vainglory. Pretty much you're giving a jungle and also the uh, middle lane, or the lane, and pretty much um, what it is, the jungle basically is for you to actually be capable of leveling up. As I killed the cruel there, and I believe I killed the nope, the Celeste was still alive. Um, as basically, um, the jungle basically is specifically to just level your character up. It's also to like gain gold or so. It's a quick way to gain gold, other than the lane. Um, jungle is also a great way to gain gold. Um, jungle pretty much um, also has a Kraken available to where you can actually um, make a difference between losing or winning for the enemy team or, or your team in general. Um, the Kraken just is a very a strong character that you that you can have on your side to destroy enemy turrets. And it can go either way really. The game can go either way with that. Um, you also have um, Crystal Sentries where basically they're specifically um, to level up the minions um, to make them stronger. And your objective is to at least take down one. But if you take down two Crystal Sentries, it makes a huge difference in the game. Because again, your minions will be a lot stronger afterwards. Um, rank match is basically the same thing as casual match, but pretty much um, it's... It's the same thing as for the fact that you know your your goal is to just to kill the crystal, the enemy crystal, in order to win the whole game. Um, but you know it's the same thing except like you get ranked for it pretty much. That's uh, pretty much what a ranked match is. Um, the well, let me see. I think I get the Adagio here. Nope, I was really close by the side of the path. Oh, actually, no, I killed the crew. Nice. Um. And pretty much the last gaming mode that you have available is Blitz, which basically it's the first team to 15. Um, pretty much that's just how Blitz works. It's the first team who gets 15 points wins. And that's pretty much all it is, really. It's just the first team who gets 15 points wins the whole match. And it's just really... Um, a fast paced game, you can actually pick any character you want on this one, um, and you actually start off with 8,000 gold. You actually have the option to go to home base, which is not an option for Battle Royale, but um, pretty much you start at level 10. Um, you actually are capable to go to um, the home base and build up, and pretty much just the first to 15 points. Again, how you get the points pretty much is killing an enemy hero will be one point. Uh, destroying a turret, 
or defeating the gold miner will be three points, and uh, destroying an enemy sentry will be two points. And that's pretty much how the game mode works. The first team to 15 wins. Typically, this takes five minutes or less. Sometimes, if you're a really good team, you will, it'll take less than five minutes. I actually was in the match to where it was 15 and 0, and it was just a really good match. Like we just dominated so hard. As I get killed by the Celeste here. Um, and yeah, I mean, like honestly, this game is a very fun game. It's a very fun game for an RPG that's in mobile. Um, honestly, it's one of the best mobile games I've ever played. I mean, other than Clash Royale, Clash Royale is just a really fun game in general. But I just love this game so much, like even more because, well, it's just very unique. Like you don't really see great mobile games like this um, often, except maybe probably Dota or so. But like you know, um, you know, you don't see much great games like this often. And like the sad thing about this is that these games are typically not as popular. Um, and that's the sad thing because you know these are games that should be popular because developers are just very, they're very nice, um, they're very nice and like you know they kind they really do listen to the um, people, um, and they're just great developers in general. Like you know these these guys really care about their um, about their like you know people. As I killed the crew here. Um, the developers really just have great ideas. To start off the game, I mean, yeah, it had lots of issues when it came to connectivity, but once you resolve those issues, and so, like, the game was just playable again, and it just kept getting better and better. You know, the game is still fun, like, I'll, I still play it every time and then, um, and, like, you know, as I killed the Adagio there, um, it's just always been one of those games I always come back to and just to play. Um, and the thing, the thing I love even more about this game is that now they have the option to actually even play uh, fast paced mode games like you know Battle Royale and Blitz which again like Battle Royale is like 10 minutes Blitz is like 5 um, and those are really fast paced pace mode games and I just love playing fast paced mode games cause like you know you know, playing a rank or casual match is great and all but like you know it gets boring after a while or sometimes you don't even have the time to play all that so playing like a casual match or so um, not a casual match, playing like a Blitz or a Battle Royale is really nice because, you know, you have something that's a lot less time to take for you to play as, and it's, you know, you can play this more often. And it's great, it's great that they actually kept thinking about that when it came to the fans or so. Um, one of the things I would recommend for this game, though, is probably, like, you know, have more maps. Like, you know, you get tired of seeing the same map over and over again. Just changes, like, you know, some environment or so, depending on the holiday season or so. Um, you know, I think, if anything, they should probably just change the maps a little bit. You know, that's just my opinion. Um, everything about this game is fine, except, like, you know, maybe just change the maps a bit. Um, maybe kind of change some things to where you can change your name as well, because it does cost a lot of um, ice in order to do it. Um... And like it just kind of sucks, but that's just the way it is. And not to mention, like you know, I feel like they should probably also um, have like a. Huh. I'm not sure what's the word for it really, but pretty much I think. If anything needs to be better about this game really is probably um, I mean other than just having more maps or so is maybe having like more like unique skins for characters there's a lot of characters that still don't have skins that much there's also some characters that don't really have much unique skins um, I'm talking about Fortress for this example. I don't exactly love his legendary skin. Actually, I prefer his rare skin. His rare skin is just really um, awesome and stuff. I like his red legendary skin, but it's just not as great. Um, as, again, the um, pedal actually saves me from that and allows me to actually get the kill from the cruel. Um, so that's awesome. And we both get killed by Celeste's ability. Um, again, one thing about Celeste's ability that you should probably know about her ultimate, which is the one you just saw, um, is actually capable of going through a majority of the map, which is something you should probably watch out for. It does tons of damage, and it just literally goes up on the map. So, like, literally what happens is, like, once you see that ability, it's kind of hard to dodge it because, you know, it's just so long. Um, but yeah, like, I feel like you probably just make better skins for some of the characters because some characters do deserve better skins. Um, I think Fortress could have used like a better skin, make it more like, um, make it more flame-like or so. Like you know, make it like don't make it look like a, some type of robot. Make it like flame, flame-like, flame and demon-like. I, I actually like that's what I liked about the rare skin really. 
But, you know, most of the stuff is... If Bank Glory in general is just a really good game, and I probably recommend you guys to get it. Like, it's for free. It's in the, it's in the Play Store. It's in the iTunes Store, I believe. I'm not sure. But it, sh it should be, like, in your application store. You know, just just go get it. Like, go play it. Try it out. It's a, lot, it's a very fun game. It has a lot of modes. And, like, they actually have seasons now. Um, like, seasons... Um, I don't know what to call it. Like... Season prizes, I guess, is the best way to call it. Where basically, if you get like a certain amount of like sunlight, which basically, basically you get them from like doing matches, and you get even more if you have like um, skins or like you do like ma more matches, like you know, casual match, which gives you like one sunlight at least. If you do matches like that, like you, you know, you can get like a ton of stuff from it. You get lots of cool stuff, and it just makes it like more fair for you know the players who are not like you know paying players. So like, I really like that aspect of it. And I use my ultimate ability against the Adagio. Um, I believe I go for the cool at this. No, not the cool. On um, the Celeste, as I actually get the Celeste at this point. Nope, Pedal actually gets the Celeste in that one. Um, and for me, I was trying to get the Adagio, but I decided kind of not to. Just kind of gave up on that search because, well, the turn was just right there. Now, right here, um, I actually did not do the best. Um, at this, I actually just decided going for the um, enemy turn though because it was just right there. It was really easy to catch, and like since it was undefended, I mean I was like, you know what? Why not? You know, just give us more territorial ground. That's just as important. At this point, um, I decided going for this other enemy turn as well because I was like, you know what? Why not? I mean the cr the crow was distracted by the pedal, and I was just kind of like right there just during the enemy turn. The pedal actually decides to sacrifice her own life for me, and again, thank you again, pedal. You're the best. And pretty much, like, you know, it's just, you know, it's just there pretty much for the most part. Um, as I start basically going all the way back to home base, uh, I go to the closest turret that I see, even though most of our turrets are destroyed. Here it is. Here's the turret. And yeah, I mean... It's just, you know, really good. Hey, I'm sorry guys, I'm kind of sleepy right now because, well, it's like, I had a long day at school really, so, you know, I'm just kind of glad I'm making YouTube videos again, but I kind of wish I was doing it when I was like, I have more energy. I don't really have much energy right now. I wish I did. I don't. I wish I did though. But I don't. That's just the point. I don't have energy. Like, no energy at all. Like, literally, I have like the least amount of energy that you've seen in the existence. Not even a... A coffee will give me enough energy. Like that's how much energy I have. I have like literally no energy. And as you can see, the rhyme here is actually gonna get his ass killed if he keeps doing that. Good thing he had boots on. And as you can see, um, this is actually not the start of our push. Actually, it's right after we die, after we get ace from the enemy team, and then come back. This is actually when we actually decided to make our own push here. Um, right here, I actually um, got caught from Cruel's um, ultimate ability, which managed to stun me. And this is actually the worst move I could have ever done, is my ultimate ability against the Cruel, knowing very well I wasn't even going to be able to kill him. But, you know, that happens. As you can see, as well, it's like, if I was to shoot the Cruel, he would have died from this point. Same thing with the Adagio. If a few hits would have just um, finished him, like, already. As the Adagio uses his ultimate um, against the turret in order to do some extra damage. Um, the Rhyme's just trying his best to defend the turret, but, you know, he can't do much at this point. Because you can literally just breathe on that turret, and it's already gone. <laughs> And the enemy team then decides to run away because, well, we're at, both of us, uh, me and the pedal, are actually going to come back. And this is actually when we decide to start our push. Once we come back. Honestly, um, the character I mastered was Finn. Um, he's actually my favorite character overall. Actually, my favorite character overall might be Fortress now. Um, he's just, I don't know, I just love Finn because of how tanky he can be. The guy's just such a dick, like, Finn is just such a dick, man. Like, if you're with a really good team, and you play as a Finn, and you're pretty good at Finn, I mean, you you literally just kind of won the match, because Finn is just that type of character to where, like, you know, the enemy team just can't exactly run away from you. Um, and, like, you know, 
you're you're helping your teammates by like you know allowing allowing yourself to you know not only be their tank but you're also allowing yourself to um, have the enemy team to just um, not even be having the option to run away or run away as effectively because well Finn just kind of reels them in pretty easily. If not from his second ability, he uses the anchor, which again I use that as a way to get kills as well, because I use the anchor to just kind of like uh, reel enemies in, um, have the turret and target them, and then afterwards um, stun them, and you know that's how you get another kill. And it's been a really effective strategy for me actually. And as you can see, the enemy team is actually kind of grouping up like close to the um, close to the crystal turret. The crystal the crystal and turrets that are protecting the crystal and pretty much we're just kind of making the push pretty small but it's all we need it's all we need all we need is a small push and we're just kind of clearing the way for the minions here because well why not Bum, boom 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 and here comes the enemy team who are actually going to try to defend this um, crystal, but it's completely failed. As you can see, um, the crew actually was thinking of going for me, but instead he decides going for the Ryan. Bad decision by him because I could literally do tons of damage at range. The Adagio actually uses his ultimate ability, and I actually start hitting. I start hitting using my special ability. Special ability hits the Adagio, does some um, burst damage. I'm doing some burst damage against the Celeste. Celeste is killed. Then I just kill the Adagio, and now we actually have gotten an ace, and this match is over. As we actually we just clear more minions because like you know fuck these guys. And now we're actually going to be able to destroy the um, enemy turrets. And it's already too late now. I mean, like, honestly, they got aced. Um, even when they did come back, like, you know, it was already over at this point. It was at this moment that they found out they fucked up. <laughs> and now the crystal is destroyed. And we have won the match. Again, and when it comes to kills, it wasn't the best. But, you know, we did what we could and destroyed the enemy, enemy crystal. As for stats... Stat wise, um, you have me being at 8, 4, and 5, um, the Rhyme being at 2, 6, and 3, um, Pedal was actually 4, 7, and 6, she did a pretty decent job protecting me and everything, um, um, Celeste was 7, 4, and 5, um, the Crew was actually 7, 7, 4, and the Adagio was actually 3, 3, and 10. Again, good game guys, and I hope you guys also enjoy this video. Um, I really enjoy playing Vainglory, and I would actually like to make more videos of this. Um, it will actually be in this exact format, because I don't exactly have the best um, stuff for, for it, sadly. But once I do, I'll probably be playing like an actual live gameplay or so, of me actually playing it, not just talking over a gameplay I just already did. Um, but again, if you guys really do enjoy um, watching these type of videos, you know, leave it down in the comments and you know, suggest characters I should play in or like in battle mode. Um, suggest like maybe some builds I should try out. Um, crazy builds, like you know, it doesn't really matter. Just suggest me anything, and you know, I'll I'll do it for you guys in the, in the next video. And I hope you guys again enjoyed this. Um, if you guys want to add me on Vainglory again, it's Mythology Legends and. Um, I'll play some matches with you guys if you like when I'm available. 